they looked around the room and they realized that they'd taken everything and they saw you depleted. They thought you were defeated. They thought you were just drained and downed and you had no more fight left in you to keep going. They thought they completed the mission. They thought they completed the mission until they moved on and these people realized that you, in fact, could regenerate your energy through healing and you've got something that money can't buy. See, they took from you, they took material things from you, but the thing that really matters your spirit, your soul, see, they couldn't deplete that, they couldn't destroy that. During your time of healing and isolation, you were able to regenerate your powers and now your gifts and your insight is stronger than ever. Your your connection to your spirit team is stronger than ever. See, they walked off and they dipped and they felt like, hey, I've gotten everything that I could possibly you know, siphon out of this energy. I've destroyed this particular energy. They cannot recover. They won't recover. They they won't recover. There's no way. I've done so much. There's no way this, this energy can recover. But with you having these special gifts, they were foolishly inclined to believe that they could somehow absorb them indefinitely and keep you at such a low frequency that you'd never be able to regenerate. They didn't count on your spirit team stepping in and blocking them out and allowing you time to heal. See, they thought in that season of isolation and them bullying you by not supporting you or not being a safe haven for you, they felt like, oh, this will indefinitely keep this person down and out and it will have adverse effects on their energy and their powers. Well, guess what? It actually did the exact opposite. It made you stronger. It made you wiser. It gave you more insight. It made you more intuitive. And now you have ascended beyond their realm of you like being able to affect you in that way. They can't affect you. They can't reach you. They can't lower your frequency. These energies are now scrambling because time has run out they can't access you, so they're they're desperate, right? They're desperate for a rebirth. They're desperate for a hit. Mm. Hi, my name is Raji. I'm an Evolved Tussler, and I'm here with your collective reading for today. It is Friday, and I'd like to welcome you to a tribe called Kush. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining in. Make sure y'all hit that follow, like, share, and subscribe button. Tell a friend to tell a friend. You never know who it could help. If you're an OG and you've been listening to me for a little bit, I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Thank y'all for engaging with me and sharing my content, you know, and thank you guys for continuing to support my business, tipping me, and, you know, definitely just, you know, talking to me and letting me know that you resonate with the messages that I'm putting out. Now, if you're in need of any spiritual services or readings, click the link in my bio. Like I said, I do have slots available for you guys. But let's do get into this reading. Today, we're still in the full moon energy and the moon is now in Taurus. So there's a lot of long-term planning going on. There's a lot of money matters dealing with heart chakra energy and definitely speaking your truth so that you can find the balance that you need to grow and fulfill yourself within self-worth. You know, Taurus is ruled by Venus. So you know how they feel about taking care of themselves, baby. Look into your Taurus placements. <laughs> but... Yeah, let's get into this reading. So in the past, you had a cycle that was closing out. It closed out period point blank. The door has closed, right? But you had these energies from your pets that were very much trying to force it to continue. Like they were trying to force it to continue. And the reason that they were trying to force it is because they didn't want you to walk away. They were trying to force you into some sort of stagnant cycle um, by keeping your judgment cloudy. These people could have even been feeding you things. You know, there was just a lot of lies. People were playing on your emotions it could have involved this john horse in reverse or it could have um 
happen during that full moon cycle last night in Aries because this is Aries energy. But this emperor in reverse here, this person has been exposed to you, this emperor, and there could be also a Leo involved here. But there has been an energy that has been exposed to you about this particular individual or individuals. These people were trying to throw you off balance. They were trying to make it where you couldn't get anything together. They wanted to keep you in lack and make sure that your dreams, your hopes, and your desires were never fulfilled. Your ancestors and your spirit team determined this was an injustice to you. It was very unfair. Libra could be significant. So this is why you're being extended this will of fortune now that this cycle has closed out. They tried to force it to keep going because they knew they needed to feed off of you continuously. But see, somebody did something. They had a plan that just didn't work out. Um, so they were now trying to extend you some sort of offer, some sort of like happiness so that they could get their wishes fulfilled. But this was all very much bullshit. It was only to slow you down and cause you delay. But yeah, this masculine energy didn't want you. They were trying to slow down your process in terms of achieving your goals and setting yourself up for success long term. They wanted to make it seem like you were just working for nothing, but they were really the ones siphoning your energy all along. But they wanted the cycle of you to just toil and labor without any results to continue to happen. They didn't want you to have the will to fight or to think for yourself um, again because you couldn't see the foresight of things you couldn't make any progress you didn't have any partners anybody to work with you and they knew that you were the queen of pentacles all along so they knew what type of energy they were feeding off of keeping you low frequency so that they could do this spirit says in your stillness in your hermit mode aquarius could be significant you were able to grow and by this stillness in this growth you built your strength back and also your courage to keep going leo energy could also be very significant here you could have leo on your chart now presently this particular person is trying to sacrifice possibly a younger water sign here um, because of some sort of loyalty or commitment could be a Pisces with the um, hangman here this particular energy was trying to think of a plan to stop someone from taking action or possibly keep someone in fear they want somebody trapped in their mind so that they don't take action they don't do a certain something this person was trying to reconcile but it seems like you've moved on and you've moved past this this person really uh, whatever energy they've gotten themselves into whatever deals they've made they are trying to find their way out of these particular situations so this person just wants victory at all costs at the end of the day they have no concern for anything else not even their children this person doesn't care at all again they're just working to obtain a goal and this goal is to ultimately cause you a tower <laughs> here um but you know this already you see things for what it is you're spiritually inclined so whether you are talking to this person or not you already know what their plans are to throw you off balance and to keep you from being able to do what you need to do so you're no longer accepting any offers from this person you know they are fake and they're fraudulent and you've chosen to detach yourself from this energy which is could be this um emperor here aries or capricorn could be significant this person is now because you detached. They're entering a period of will of fortune in reverse. They have a bad look because they can't get none, nothing started. Everything they start, it, it it bombs out, and that's because you've healed. You know, you've changed. You don't. They. It was always your energy is what I'm saying. But yeah, so this person wants to come back around. But at the end of the day, spirit is saying you better recognize they're playing on your top. <laughs> they're playing on your emotions for them. This person wants some sort of weird ass justice because of something that you know or something they're scared that you may tell. And they are very much so yeah, this masculine here, they wanted justice for something that you know or something that this younger energy knows or told you. They feel like they want justice for these. And they're now burdened because the fact that they can't reach you, um, they there are some secrets, there is loss of income, loss of stability, like very much generational curse energy. This person took some sort of negative impulsive action here and now they're under judgment for it, okay? Libra, very, very significant. They did not adapt. They continued to play games. And now, you know, maybe even in some sick, insidious way, confirmation, you may have inspired this individual. But 
This is still not somebody you can trust. You can't trust their ass because if you collaborate with this person, they're still going to keep secrets. Um, They truly don't care. That's the mystery. They're hiding that they don't really care about you. They don't care about the child. They don't care about anything. They don't care about nurturing any type of relationships here. They're only concerned about having a rebirth because, see, they down bad. Now, collectively, there is an immature masculine water sign here who thinks that, you know, they're in their feelings because they may, you might not be revealing your plans or what you know, but they know that you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This person has some sort of goal to slow you down, uh, but it looks like they aren't able to do so because you're still moving forward. Even if you're doing so slowly, your plans are still coming to fruition. They could never really stop you. See, now that you're knowledgeable and you're operating head over heart, you're able to see the snakes in the grass. If you can see there's snakes on these sticks right here with this particular woman. It's like you've accepted the fact that there's snakes in the grass and you're having strength and adversity. You're not allowing that to emotionally affect you any longer. These people were definitely trying to cause extreme conflict in your life and um, it caused you to have to return to a negative mindset, a negative situation, make you feel like, Oh, you know, again, you are always going to have troubles and you are always going to have bad things happening to you so that um, you rush into something. Um, but it looks as though you know this again, you're hip <laughs> with the Queen of Swords here, air sign energy. You are hip to what's going on here. You realize that this person wants to destabilize you. They don't want you to be free. They don't want you to have anything. You see that shit for what it is. So because again, you know what their plans are and how they're working on you, you stepped into your power and you're creating a new timeline for yourself, Gemini energy. And this power is being restored because you are no longer collaborating with these people. You don't care about collaborating with them anymore. You seem to have walked off. And because you dip, this is affecting their confidence. And, you know, they don't know what you're doing anymore. Aquarius is very significant here. You walked off and they just don't know what you're doing. So there are a lot of options. They are in a major dilemma right now. So they're... So... Yeah, they're all out of options. So now they're trying to force you into some sort of action here to rekindle a partnership or relationship with them. Uh, because you, again, you've released this. You freed yourself from these people, hangman in reverse. So somebody is very passionate about coming towards you and moving forward. Um, it could be this queen of wands in the reverse, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody's uh, controlling this person's movement. Um, somebody is trying to avoid some sort of inevitable ending or betrayal from this queen of wands um in reverse because their wishes were not fulfilled they did not get what they wanted out of this deal so they are very hurt they're damaged and they're trying to fulfill themselves there is an end of stagnation for someone here uh, because now this by leaving this person out of the cold left to deal with this empress in reverse again this sagittarius or aries energy you've restored your power has been restored yes baby See, they thought they was getting a gift and the gift was draining them and they ain't have nothing to give in the first place. So, yeah, in the near future, someone's going to be trying to be very generous to you. Somebody knows that they owe you something. So they're going to be trying to come around and give you something. It could be this Aquarius person. They know that they owe you something. You were, And the reason that this person owes you this blessing, this inheritance, this gift is because they stopped you from your new beginning. They stopped you from having meaningful relationships. They, they kept you tied to negative people and negative habits through their own influence um, by doing black magic and manipulating you. Gemini could be significant. You know, you were mad, you know, put in partnerships and situations that were never equal give and take with that two of baskets in reverse. And this was a group effort to stop you so that's why these people ultimately got to pay you back and you know these people were looking for some sort of victory here some sort of success by keeping you in this small small energy page of cups in reverse in terms of this lover yeah they was using lovers to come towards you and take your strength you seem to like you got your strength through partnership Right. Well, that's what they thought. So they always would send lovers towards you and like take you down, do you bad. So you couldn't ascend. And this is why they took that leap of faith. Now, they don't care. They are not in regret. These people have so many secrets that they're trying to cover up, especially this king of swords in reverse. This person is um 
They know that you're the high priestess and you know their secrets. They know you know what's up and they can't hide anything from you. This is why they want to keep this cycle going because whatever you know could really expose them um, in the world. So they're they're very unhinged right now because they're very they're working. A Virgo or Leo could be involved. This exposure, whatever it is they're trying to hide about themselves. So, yeah, you may have exposed something that these people were trying to hide from the world. They didn't want this to be seen. And now they no longer can battle you uh, because, like, these people were, their judgment was clouded. They did something wrong. And it fucked up their plans. Yeah, it fucked up whoever this king of wands. They had so many plans. They were so confident in these lies and these betrayals. They thought you wouldn't be able to fight. At the end of the day, they had the plan to kind of control your actions through money, through finances, stability. So that's why they sent these masculines in. So you wouldn't be able to defend yourself um, and you wouldn't be able to protect yourself from these people or your children either. They were going to be the ones that would be providing this for you, right? But you know you couldn't provide it for yourself Taurus could be significant but that was never the plan at the end of the day they always meant to stab you in the back and the front this person acts like they wanted peace with you or they will act like they want peace but spirit says you better stay wise because at the end of the day this person still hasn't healed they don't plan on healing um this person is um very restless right now because you know, whatever kindness that they're looking for, um, they're having to work. They have to work, okay? They have to work to, like, build some sort of rapport with you. You know, they have to work for that. They can't just get that, you know. You may not love this person anymore or they never loved you. The love was never real. So, they have to work that shit. It doesn't come natural is what I just heard. It doesn't come natural. This person wants to trap you. They don't want you to have your freedom. They they hate you almost. So don't believe anything this individual says to you. This person um, can't hunt you as long as you follow your instincts. Uh, Sagittarius could be significant. <sighs> A hot means, y'all. So, overall, the, secretly, these were never really partnerships or real relationships. These were all fake, set up by your family. Gemini and Cancer could be significant. You receive clarity about this, though. You see things for what it is, especially concerning this father of coins, this greedy, selfish, stubborn, low-down son of a bee, and as well as this father of knives, this air sign masculine energy. They were very manipulative. They were very cold. And this was in an effort to take your strength and take your courage and stop you from being confident in yourself leo could be significant so when you decided to let these energies go and go on about your business this is when you were able to build your pinnacles back up um these people were working diligently to stifle that though they were working towards something that belonged to you energetically like you know even if you didn't have it in the motherfucking physical you had it in the astral you could it was almost like she you know reach out and grab another coin i got that i can do that you know nothing you everything you touch turn to gold no matter what so this this king of yeah, you got the Midas touch, right? And this is why this King of Pentacles doesn't want you to move forward because, see, they're able to feed off of that energy, even to the point of taking it to someone else. This person needs your help at the end of the day. They need you because they don't have a connection to spirit. They don't have that uh, higher funny reverse Taurus. They're very low down. So they know that you're nurturing, you're caring, and you can pull that energy out of almost out of the air. So spirit says, but don't worry about this particular person because, they're a liar they're a betrayer and a thief and whatever actions that they were trying to take against you is leading to their own entrapment you know they tried to trap you but now they're trapped and you're being given the gift from spirit to move forward and enjoy your life um this person may try to communicate with you uh but spirit says this is not going to be anything new you won't be able to create or you don't need to tell this person what you're creating can spirit wants you to continue to have patience um, and keep your energy high because things are about to be revealed to you about these particular people. And remember to stay confident in your path at the end of the day. 
You've avoided a tower, though. You did from your past with this Empress in reverse, this Sagittarius energy. This person was only for material gain. And they, any type of offers you would have gotten from this person, you know, you just needed to move away from that. This person's feeling very reckless and fearful right now because whatever attachment that they had to you, uh, this demonic attachment that they've got on them is now burdening them. They owe this attachment. So, yeah, they were very, very confident at one point, but now they're not in whatever agreement that they've made it's not going to work this controlling this this abuse that they were doing towards this mother of baskets and yeah these people were definitely collaborating and doing this to keep you not stable to keep you down bad and keep you not able to build anything yeah they were working the goal to stop your plans from happening these were very evil evil people mm -hmm. and these things have been exposed to you at the end of the day that they were trying to stagnate you so you know that they're under judgment right now for their actions and this is me leaving them in this Ten of Pentacles in reverse or Ten of Coins for this deck. And it has slowed them completely down. The fact that you know has slowed them down. You know that these are enemies to you. You know these people are working against you, especially this higher fun energy. This higher fun energy is... Um, Someone that maybe you did you weren't paying attention to at first. You maybe didn't like listen to your spirit team about this person and they but your spirit team wants you to know this person is definitely a hidden enemy. All they want is your money. They see what you are. So any affection that they show, um, this is just in an effort to progress and get ahead. This person doesn't want you to expose them. Um, so they the fact that they are hmm, you expose this person, so they've lost some sort of control here. Yeah. Continue to protect yourself, you know. So, yes, but overall, yeah, these people are very afraid because you've won some type of fight. You've won this victory by snatching off their mask. But, and they, they wanted to keep things going so they could keep balancing their own lives because these people have no joy. You know, your family, they're not joyful. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be tied to them anymore. They're not happy because secrets, again, have been exposed. They don't want you to be determined. Um, these people have bad intentions for you and spirit doesn't want you to be consumed with anything anything continue to change your life and continue to move forward do not be tricked by these individuals don't be tricked into any deals right now because they're not sacred they're not real they're not true don't forget what these people did to you and that's my word y'all i appreciate y'all for tapping in and continuing to support you know the journey to kush and the kush concierge if you need me click the link in my bio i am available and don't forget to turn on your notifications okay i love you guys we'll chat soon bye